What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This time we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Xbox One wireless receiver for Windows. So what we released wireless adapter for Windows for Xbox One controller so basically this eliminates the use of using the um, the USB micro USB cable that we previously had to use uh, if you wanted to uh, play uh, use the controller on your PC so this will act as a wireless adapter for that purposes and you can actually uh, use the wireless functionalities on the uh, controller itself. So we're just going to do a little unboxing of, uh, of what's included inside um, this box right here and uh, how you would go on with connecting this to the controller itself. So the adapter looks something as this, just a USB 2.0, 3.0 adapter. Um, it's compatible with Windows 10, Windows 7 and 8.1. Um, and as I mentioned previously, USB 2.0, uh, also USB 3.0, uh, and that's about it. And uh, what else is included in here is also the uh, extend extender uh, cable. I think that's what it is. The USB 2.0 USB extension cable. Uh, so if you don't want to just plug it into the back of the PC, uh, you can actually use uh, an extension cable and then put the USB in, into the extension cable and plug that cable into your PC. So I'm just going to go ahead and unbox this. Uh, uh, this package here uh, and see what's included inside. Alright guys, so we've now unboxed the uh, packaging itself and what we have inside, uh, once you open up the box, the first thing you see is the uh, uh, the uh, USB wireless adapter for Xbox One controller. So it just looks like a standard uh, USB uh, standard as a USB memory stick you would say. Uh, although right here it has that sync button which, which is what you need in order to uh, sync your Xbox One wireless controller to the PC. Uh, so this is the uh, USB adapter right here. Um, and what else uh, is included uh, is right underneath the packaging itself. So if you remove this, then you get that extension cable I was previously uh, talking about. So this cable would then be plugged into either your laptop or your desktop, and this end is where you would actually attach the USB uh, 2.0 cable into it. So I mean, if you if you didn't want to have um, this plug directly into your laptop or PC and you wanted to have it extended uh, then you, you can actually attach this cable right here. Uh, I wouldn't really bother about using this if you have a desktop just plug it in at the back of it but some users do find it easier if they actually use an extension cable. Um, and, and that's the actual hardware right there and then you have some uh, instruction guides included so this right here is just the uh, quick setup guide um, and then that's the same quick setup guide in, in several different languages. Um, I mean, you wouldn't really need to use any of these. As soon as you plug this in, your Windows is up to date. Uh, you have either Windows 7, 8, or 10. The reason they've mentioned Windows 10 on the packaging itself is that it's also compatible with Windows 10. So as soon as you plug it in and you're connected to internet, you, your drivers are all up to date. It should find the latest driver or the software application that it uses for uh, the uh, wireless receiver itself. Uh, and then we just got the uh, Xbox One uh, accessory uh, product manual. I'm pretty sure nobody's really going to use that, but it, it is there uh, if you do want to run through it. Uh, and that that's all, that's about it guys. Uh, that's, that's what's included with this um, um, wireless adapter itself. Um, and how you would go on about syncing it if you haven't actually synced um, a controller to it previously. So we're going to go by using this controller right here. It's my Xbox One wireless controller. And to sync this onto um, the wireless adapter right here, uh, all you would need to do is first of all plug this into your PC, uh, make sure that it's uh, it's downloaded the relevant drivers that are required. Um, and as soon as that, that is up and running, um, you need to make sure that there are batteries in here. Uh, currently I do not have any batteries, but you, you would put two AA batteries in here. Uh, and then you would simply go on by holding uh, the sync button on the adapter itself for uh, several seconds, I believe that's five seconds, and then you will also hold uh, the sync button on the controller for around five seconds too. Um, and once it syncs to the uh, wireless adapter on, on the uh, PC itself, um, this will start flashing and then it will become solid. That, that's when you know that it has actually synced and you're ready to play games wirelessly on your PC. And that's, 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 that's it all right there, uh, guys. Um, that was the unboxing and a, and a quick 
uh, review of the uh, wireless adapter that I've just received. Um, this has uh, recently just been released. Um, I, I believe it was the 27th when it uh, got released in the, in the United Kingdom. I'm not sure about any other regions of the world, but uh, I think in France it comes next month sometime, uh, and I'm not sure about US. Uh, they might have already had it before us. Uh, but I will have the link in the description uh, to where I bought it from within the UK region. So if you do want to purchase it, you can purchase it from from there. It was uh, only £20, so I mean, it's it's not... Uh, it's not quite a hefty price. I mean, you could say it's a bit expensive for an adapter, but I mean, this does eliminate the use of um, using the USB micro cable, uh, which from time to time does break by keep plugging it, uh, plugging it in, and um, you have to keep replacing the cable. So uh, I thought the easiest option would be to just have this wireless adapter and be using your batteries in here, uh, and you can. Um, uh, game cable free. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I uh, got a little insight on the adapter itself. Um, if it did, if it did help, please make sure to subscribe. If you have any further questions, do leave a comment in the comment section below. Try my best to get back to everybody. And make sure to hit that subscribe button too, um, along with the like if you if you like the video. Until next time, guys. Peace out.